Yo, little Snapchat, let's do a quick one today because I'm already late to a full day. Um, so I just saw this thing, uh, Uber released this thing called Uber Rush, which is like an on-demand API delivery service. Let's talk about that. So I just found out about this maybe 30 minutes ago, so let's do some on-the-fly futurism. Fuck it, we'll do it live. So I've actually thought for a while that Uber will become like the single interface to every single transport. So they'll actually monopolize transport globally. Anytime you need to move anything from A to B, that'll be Uber. And they've been playing around with this with various things in different cities. So they've done like Uber Eats, so food delivery, um, and they've also been doing like parcel delivery, which is Uber Rush. But now they've given an API to that. So what this means is that you can start an on-demand delivery business. So whether you're making uh, restaurant food on delivery or any type of parcel delivery, you can do that instantly through their API and they'll handle it. And that's really cool, yeah? That's like the idea of this API for physical worlds. The idea that you can write some computer code and you fire off instructions to it, you know, post and get requests, and stuff happens in the real world. And so right now, it's, it's obviously like, you know, human drivers with Uber and UberX. Um, but once they get self-driving cars, that becomes like almost like a TCP IP system for physical stuff. So, so TCP IP is like the, uh, the routing kind of network of the internet that routes packets to where it needs to go. So Uber is kind of like the routing system of the physical world transporting goods. So let's next level that some more. So Uber actually doesn't want to make their own cars. They just want to work with other manufacturers of cars, which means they're focusing purely on the software layer. So they just want to become that network, that platform. And what that means is that Uber doesn't have to be relegated or like boxed into cars. Um, they could do ships, they could do um, trucks, buses, trains, planes, drones. Imagine an Uber like drone delivery network that just operates autonomously and globally because they don't care about how it, like what devices it uses to get there, just how it gets there. And particularly too, if all these transport vehicles become uh, completely autonomous, you know, autonomous trains, boats, uh, cars, trucks, buses, and drones. So perhaps that physical transport network will become a lot like TCP IP, where uh, packets are routed between different routers with no real regard to like who manufactured or what that router is. Meaning I want to transport atoms in the real world, and that could be people, parcels, food, whatever, atoms. Um, I just send it off, send it for a request to the Uber API, and it's just all handled. And then perhaps without any human involved, maybe a drone come and pick, comes and picks it up, the drone transports it to a ship, the ship then transports it somewhere else, another drone picks it up, and then... Okay, now imagine this system were decentralized. There wasn't the Uber company in the middle, like, centralizing all these services. It was like a decentralized autonomous organization, a network, a series of smart contracts running there. Same scenario, you fire off a request to transport atoms from point A to point B to the DAO, and the DAO just shoots it off to the necessary requirements, the necessary places. And then these autonomous drones, uh, ships, trains, planes, cars, buses, trucks, they all own themselves on the blockchain, and that's a trippy idea. And they monitor themselves and they automatically check themselves in for maintenance, and they just basically pull in um, some of the, the money, like some of the revenues that are stored by the DAO to go get maintained and fixed. And of course, just like Uber now, the whole thing is built on machine learning algorithms and uh, uh, big data is basically mining and finding the best kind of traveling salesman route, which is really epic. Actually, I've seen many articles that say that um, Uber is actually more efficient and faster and will get to you faster than, say, an ambulance or a, the police. <laughs> so anyway, snap your thoughts. A single global DAO, a single decentralized global autonomous system for transporting atoms from one place to another anywhere on the planet.